and Syria. We are hearing conflicting reports about what Secretary of State John Kerry told a group of lawmakers about the future of U.S. strategy in that country. Well, among that group of lawmakers was New York Congressman Elliot Engel, who was in the room. He's the ranking Democrat on the Foreign Affairs Committee. He was on the on the CODEL, I guess we call it, uh, on this uh, at the Munich conference. Congressman Engel, good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Well, you've seen the reports, uh, Bloomberg View, the Daily Beast, uh, and the Washington Post about what John, what was said that John Kerry said about Syria, basically that he is somehow uh, concerned that the policy right now isn't working. Where do you on this? Well, you know, in a, in a long-range uh, uh, talk with, with a number of uh, senators and Congress members, there were lots of things that were talked about. I don't know if uh, John Kerry uh, definitively said the policy is changing. I mean, I have long been in favor of arming the moderate mm -hmm. uh, Syria rebels, the, uh, the, the Free Syria Army. Uh, I think that the, the, the level that uh, they're being armed is inadequate. I think uh, we should have been doing this. I put in a bill more than... Senator John Kerry was a big advocate of this before before he became Secretary of State, John Kerry, right? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, and John, Ke John Kerry was just basically going through with us things that we already know, that uh, Syria is a mess, people are being killed, humanitarian aid, is, uh, which we're doing the most of, is hard to get in. Um, there seems to be no end in sight. Uh, Assad is essentially Iran's proxy in his own country. Uh, Hezbollah has come in, Iran has let them come in to turn the tide of the war into Assad's favor. Things look awful there right now, and it looks like there's no end in sight. And the problem right now with, with arming the uh, Syrian rebels, which I still favor, is that it's very hard to, to pick them out uh, from the jihadists. Well, it's also funny. I want to have you pause there because I want to play what Jim Clapper told uh, Congress last week on this very issue about these Syrian rebels. In Syria, what's going on there is a... Uh in maybe some respects a new Fatah force uh, and the and what's going on there and the attraction of these foreign fighters is very very worrisome um, aspirationally um, Al Nusra Front to, to name one is uh, does have uh, aspirations for attacks on the homeland okay Assad not a friend of the United States not a friend of Israel somebody you're very concerned about he's killing hundreds of his own people on the other side among the people fighting Assad are apparently is this Al Nusra Front who wants to kill Americans as well as Assad. What does the United States do? We have to somehow uh, figure out how to get arms uh, to the Syrian rebels who are Democrats, the ones who, who are fighting for democracy. Are they even left in the country? Well, they, some they, of these people have been fleeing the well, country. Well, some America, have been correct? fleeing. Some are still there. And I believe there is still a sufficient amount there so that we could strengthen them and, 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 and try to turn the tide. But I don't want to imply that this is easy at all. It's really a, a hodgepodge of, 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 of things. And right now there are more jihadists in um, Syria than there were in Iraq at the height of the, of the war in Iraq. So this is a really a very serious uh, thing. And uh, I think uh, Assad really needs to go. The problem is how can you convince him to go when he thinks he's winning the war? Obviously, public opinion on uh, getting involved in anything militarily uh, is, is very sour. But So you're going to need presidential leadership. What do you want to hear from the president? Does he need to be speaking? more publicly about this uh, essentially uh, basically we need to go back to where we were five months ago and have this public debate about what to do well one of the things in the meeting with Kerry he he asked us if uh, there was a change uh, on the ground in our districts if people were, were more inclined to want to get involved and everyone said no people just don't don't want to get involved uh, right. and, and some said well we could have a bit more debate that the president needs to lean in well Syria is not going away and I really think that the the alternative to having a debate or the alternative for changing our policy is just more of the same and, and, and a never-ending civil war. So you war. believe we got to change policy and you believe that John Kerry is at least f telling the White House, look, we got to have a debate about what to do now. Oh, I believe that. I believe that. And some of us are, are meeting with President Obama today and uh, hopefully this will, will, this topic will is, come up. Do you want to bring well, this topic up? I know a bunch of House Democrats are. Do you want to bring this well, topic I up? Well, I want to bring it up as the ranking member on the Foreign Affairs Committee. I, I think Syria is, is something that's uh, a real hotbed and I think it's not going away. And it affects us uh, greatly, and it'll affect, it'll spill over. I mean, there's so much involving uh, Syria. It, it undermines the stability of Jordan. It undermines uh, uh, all kinds of things. And at a time when we're negotiating with Iran, right. uh, Iran is playing games with us in Syria. I, I don't think the two should stand. I think if we're negotiating with Iran, then it's incumbent on the Iranians 
at least while we're negotiating, to stop their mischief are, in Syria. Are the Russians uh, are above board on this, or are they, well, are they playing games? Well, the Russians, of course, are playing games. Assad is their person also. Assad is, is their puppet as well. But, you know, with the Russians, it's a double-edged sword because uh, uh, extreme, uh, you know, Islamist extremism uh, uh, hits them, too. They've had a lot of attacks on their homeland. They're worried about the Olympics. And so with, with Russia, it's sort of uh, they're, they're dancing very gingerly. They're, they're playing games with Assad was their person, but they are afraid of, uh, of uh, radical Islam, which is being forced, it, obviously, by the uncertainty in Syria. All right, Elliot Engel, ranking uh, Democrat on uh, foreign affairs. Uh, I'll be curious to see what the president says to you in private when you bring this up at the big House Democratic meeting today at the White House. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Coming in. Opening bell just rang on Wall Street. The market will try to bounce back from Monday's 300.